wall collectors, hobbyists, fabs and besties. I know what some of you are thinking. Where's the next summer in Cali, huh? I don't know if you've noticed, but my voice has been a little off. What? I totally don't hear it. Yeah, so we're just waiting for everything to go back to normal. In the meantime, who's up for a little crafting? And let's make that dollar store kitchen I've been wanting to make. I'm using wood panels from the Dollar Tree priced at $3 each so we can make a wooden box room. To make a complete room, we need six, so that's gonna run about $18. We are also using small wooden gift boxes I found at the Dollar Tree. They were $1.25 each. I bought three because I wasn't sure how many we were gonna need. So that's $3.75 plus the 18 from the wood panels, so we're at $21.75. I also picked up wooden crates from the dollar store. They were also $1.25 each. I thought we could use two to make a fridge, you know, something like that. And then maybe an island and possibly a cabinet. I bought six total because I wasn't sure how many we were gonna need. So that is $7.50. Plus our earlier purchases, we are now at $29.25 for this project. Once you add in paint and miscellaneous, the cost can go up. Let's go ahead and glue three of the panels together. On one of the back walls, I've actually turned the panel around so we can see the sides like this frame here. Then glue on the other side and try to get everything to line up make two so when they are combined we have a full room i placed this side backwards as well because i think maybe we can do like built-in shelving i have some paint stirs i'm cutting them a little over nine and a half inches i did end up with a little bit of that curve so if you can find like i don't know rulers that might work better or just regular wood, that's an option too. Let's just glue them in. While we're waiting for that to dry, let's work on the placement of our cabinets and refrigerator. So here is our refrigerator. I want it to sit right there. I think we're gonna use these little boxes for a sink. Are they wider? Uh-oh, they're a little wider. Hmm. Oh no, it's not gonna fit. Ah, uh, I'm about a quarter of an inch off. I need to go ahead and turn this wall around, but I glued that on pretty good. So we have to just use this for another room and let's make another one. Cost just went up. All right, so now we can stack two of the boxes for the refrigerator. We can use these little ones to make a sink we'll just separate them to have the sink and then one more cabinet on the end maybe that will be like a stove then we can place two more right here for an island and maybe a little seating i place a doll in the room for size not too bad my refrigerator is not going to be functional i just need it for photos so we're gonna paint it uh, gray? Yeah, this is gray. Then go over it with a metallic silver. This isn't quite shiny enough, but we're gonna let it dry and then come up with another idea. The dollar store has vinyl paper. I picked up white gloss. That might be an option. I also have silver contact paper. I am covering it with the contact paper. It's kind of bumpy. Maybe I should have sanded it first. I went back to my painted boxes and I'm gonna glue the two of them together. While waiting for them to dry, let's go ahead and empty the rooms and paint the room white. Let's paint the shelving unit as well. You know, those built-in shelves. On this back wall, let's do something a little different. The theme in the she shed is green, pink, and gold. So let's add a little bit of green to this room. I'm adding a little bit of green paint to some white paint and a touch of brown. I put the top back on, shake, shake, shake. Then I added a touch of gray because I wanted this 
kind of sage green color, but you know, a little gray. Let's test it on the wall. I don't know if that's even gonna be noticeable as green, it kind of blends in. We're just learning as we go, folks. Trying out something new. It's a weird green color. I think I like it, but I'm not sure. I'm going off an inspo photo I found on Pinterest, so I'm just gonna trust it. I take the three little boxes and remove the hardware on two of the boxes. I take the lids and we're gonna flip them over and glue them together. I take another crate and I'm gonna glue the two lids to the bottom of the crate. Let's place it in the room to make sure everything can fit. We have that there and then our refrigerator will go right here. And then we'll take another part of the box and place that on top for the sink. Yeah, that should, that should work. Maybe we can take the other part of the lid and place it on top for some storage. We can keep it open so that we can actually use it or turn it around if we want a more sleek look. I have one more box and I can remove the hardware, pull it apart, then add it to the wall for more shelving. I paint the cabinets green and the sink white. The sink is gonna sit on top right here. The refrigerator will close off that other end. I really want a shiny metallic refrigerator. So I cut foam board into two pieces that can fit onto the front. I cover them with the contact paper only on the parts that will be visible. Then we can glue it onto the box. I glued the lower half on with a tiny gap. Let's put it in the room. Yeah, I like that. Our cabinets are gonna go right above it like that. I think we have enough space here for a little faux half wall. I cut two pieces of foam board and I'm gonna glue them right onto the wall, right on the side. Then glue on a thin strip of wood to cover the ends. I cut another thin strip of foam board so we can slide it underneath the cabinets to raise them a little. Actually, I think we can go a little higher than that. Let's go about a half inch and glue it underneath. I glued a couple of strips underneath to give us a little height. All right, not bad. I have two little boxes that we're gonna use as cabinets on the top. I painted a few wooden dowels gold, then cut them. I cut and glue pieces together to make what kind of looks like a ladder. I make two and add a couple of pieces going straight up, cut a piece of clear plastic, and let's put that in the middle to look like glass, then glue the other one on top to make a shelf. While waiting for that to dry, let's use a little contact paper on the back wall. For a marble backsplash, I cut a small piece of foam board, it's about a half inch, to bridge the gap behind the sink. I cover it with contact paper. Let's bend a little bit of wire to make a hook. You can find four wire at the dollar store. I make a little hole in the foam board. Wrap the faucet with wire. I went up, then straight across, and now I'm going back. This is getting a little tricky. I wish I had a wire that was a tiny bit easier to bend. Push it into the foam board. Glue the sink in place. I cut a piece of black poster board from the dollar store to fit on the top of the other cabinet. I cut a piece of foam board and cut out the center. Cover the foam with contact paper. Cover the visible parts of the black paper with something shiny. Glue it onto the cabinet. Glue the silver on top. Glue on snaps for knobs to make a stove. I decided to cover the floor with glossy contact paper. Repeat for the other side of the room. Now let's glue in the stove and the sink and the refrigerator. Glue in the faucet. Glue in the gold shelf. Add the cabinets on top. And we have a nice little kitchen here. Let's add cut pieces of wood for baseboards. Let's glue two of the crates together. Paint them. Cut a piece of foam board. Cover it with marble contact paper and glue it on top to make a removable island. 
that we can place against the wall or move it out to the center or even over to the side. I left a nice ledge on one side so it can be an eating area as well. We need some kind of window over here. So I cut a piece of poster board I got from the dollar store, took a picture of my yard, did a little editing, then printed it out. Cut clear plastic from packaging, tape it around the edges, about a quarter of an inch over on three of the sides, wrapping it around the back, making a pocket where we can place the picture from outside inside. So we have a background that we can change. Yep, might need to trim that down a little so it fits a little easier. There, that's better. I glue strips of wood onto the plastic to make a window that has a little pocket so we can switch out the view. I use a little tack on the back to attach it to the wall. I got this mirror from the candle section in the dollar store. We're gonna turn it into a table. Let's take a toilet paper roll and wooden dowels. I cut the wooden dowels to four and three quarter inches, glue them around the toilet paper roll. I added some bottle caps and glue to the bottom for added weight. I'm gonna paint it gold. While waiting for that to dry, let's go ahead and add a few things to the kitchen. These are some miniatures that I 3D printed. Add them to the built-in shelf to display all of our dishes. I even made a little paper flower to go in a bottle. Now that it's dry, we can glue the mirror onto the base to make a table. Since this is a small space, I'm gonna use my clear chairs from Amazon so it doesn't feel like there's a lot in this room. Giving us seating for two and completing our kitchen remodel. Mini Toya has had a lot of kitchens in the past. Some made out of cardboard, some made out of foam board, but this is her first kitchen made out of wood. And I love that we were able to use a lot of items from the dollar store and keep the cost down. Just like our last dollar store box room, these are two separate rooms that can be separated. Oops, you can see where I forgot to paint. But since these are two separate rooms, we can move them around to create different scenes. Maybe the kitchen and dining room are in two separate rooms. Or maybe a longer room with a doorway in the center. But this layout is what fits on the shelves in my she shed. So this is what we're gonna do. And now Mini Toya can enjoy a cup of coffee in her new kitchen. Made with several things found at the dollar store. Thank you for joining us while we made a dollar store kitchen. Let us know in the comments down below what room you would like to see next. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff, the Frog Vlog, and Bella of MyFroggyStuff. And we will see you next time. Bye!